What's going on, Cool Bean Cats and Kittens? It's your boy CD. Welcome to CD's Gaming. So I'll make sure my volume is working correctly. Especially if I can hear myself. Especially if I can hear myself. Yep, we are good to go. <laughs> and we're going to start a new game called, I say Palia. It could be Palia. I'm not sure how you pronounce the game. Someone mentioned it to me, so we're going to see if I like it or not. I'm really trying to find some games. Warframe is another game that I tested that I actually like. I want to add to my schedule. Paya was a game that came about. There is a game coming out this year that I know I'm definitely going to play. Um, I don't remember. Oh, Project Mugen. Project Mugen. It's an anime type game. It reminds you of Spider-Man, GTA, and all this other stuff. And I was like, I love both those games. And you're putting it in one game plus a whole bunch of other stuff going on in the game. So I said, I registered to play the beta um, version when it comes out. And it's a free to, free to play game uh, for the PC. And I'm not sure which other, I think it'll be Nintendo Switch, but I'm not sure. So that'll be something exciting coming out later this year. It didn't have a date, it just said later this year. So hopefully, um, We will see that. All right, so let's get into this. I didn't mean to show my entire desktop, but. This is it. Check my email. <laughs> mm, no. Is it? We'll find out. the wrong email. Well, that's incorrect too, so I do not know. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> Let me figure this out.
All right, sorry about that. We are back. Apparently, I didn't have an account, so I created one. <laughs> As I thought this was through Epic, it was it would be the same, but no, it's not. All right, so it's just giving us an announcement about that. Happy Lunar New Year. I guess I'll be Okay. Alright, I get to create the character and everything. Cool, 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 cool. I think I'm out skin That's kind of me. I know I'm lighter, but then I'll look a little too like I'll be. Uh. Yeah. I mean, it's fantasy anyway, but. It's close ish to me. Eyes. Dark green axes. I love the color green. Should I give him something a little more dope? Let's see. I don't really have a lot to choose from. I got a hit job in here, that's cool. Mm. Now we'll go with that. To a secondary color. Eyebrow color. Hair dye patterns. There isn't one. Mm. 
can't really see the color green, right? They don't really have the kind of beard that I have. He looks a little young to have a mustache or anything, to be honest. That's funny. That's funny. That is too funny. Hold on, I gotta make sure my chat is showing over here so I can see. There we go. But Watch out now, thigh high, thigh high. <laughs> we got some thigh high boots, baby. Uh oh, she's a man eater. Uh, I thought I could find some that were. these would have to do. Ah, oh, okay. That's why they look very right color. Okay. Pretty basic. Makeup? Make his eyes pop! Yeah, that's more of a pharaoh. Nah, we're not gonna do all that. That's it. Right? Yep. Uh. Hmm. What should his name be? Let's do this on the keyboard. Uh. My dude in Hogwarts, his name is Jamal Monroe. Let's just give him a half brother. Let's call him. Hmm. No, no, no. What are you doing? Stop, 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 stop. There we go. I don't know how to spell his last name. 
I don't think that's right. Set a name, Tyrone. Uh, hmm. I want to say Quentin. You can go by Q. Yeah, it's definitely not my real name. <laughs> definitely not mine. for you to go out into the world. I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. Night creatures. Some alien creatures are nocturnal. You will only see them at night. Okay. Don't you think? Oh my dragon. <laughs> did, did you just materialize from nowhere? Sacred sites around Paya. Ah. Slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper? She's helping others like you get settled in. I'm not working on something here. Just close to figuring it out. <laughs> Hecla, should I ask her if you have any questions? I'm gonna get back to the grind. Oh. Oh, jeez, it's late. Time flies with you around. Navigate the world using the L. Press L to move your character. Okay. Look around using R. Okay. Oh. There's a bug. Like a bug in a game. Are you in need of sustenance? So many questions for your spontaneous emergence. Changing the world. Mm -hmm. 
answer questions of what you are for yourself, as do we all. My Tina needs me. I mean, this is pretty. Oh, wow, look at that. Muscles can be jumped by pressing B, press Y to toggle sprint, and get a longer jump. It's dumb. Find by moving up with them, moving up them with L, proceed into the next room by jumping and climbing over obstacles. Well, like Zelda, you can't climb with so much until you're exhausted. Objectives like quests are tracked on your compass. Items outside the compass are behind you. Rotate your camera with R to change your field of view. Add your own marker by pressing. By pressing what? Well, there's somebody else already in the game. the name of the village. Pet purchase bonus. Unlock one pal cat with your first pie of corn purchase. Unlock three additional types of podcasts once you purchase your first 3,000 plus pie of coins. Uh, okay. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Need anything? Quite again. Keep friends on this horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the end right now. Or plots to the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. Build myself a fucking tent. to 
talk to your resident miner about the pig. Take the road up the hill to the northeast. Be safe out there. What I did there because they didn't have the, it didn't show me the button dropping the waypoint is A, and then you'll see it on your compass above. Pardon me. This is the only pace you can run or move. Ah. Gotta hold down LT. Or your left trigger. It's probably significant. Broke a rock with an axe. Everybody's so friendly, right? <laughs> now I'm convinced it's called Palia, like Pal, Palia. Uh huh. You can tell me how you got those biceps. <laughs> If you want, it just needs a bit more work. Sure. Tool to gathering hold. Press and hold my left trigger to open a tool wheel, highlight a tool, and release LT to equip it. By gathering some nearby rock debris, press and hold RT to start using the equip tool. Press and hold LT to switch to another tool. Try gathering wood from a nearby from nearby debris. Press A to gather the items you have re have created. So it's not my intention to be building, but I do remember uh, my friend Chris Nightwolf telling me that you'd have to build just this one thing and then that's pretty much it. And I was like, okay, I can get that a go. Because y'all know how I feel about building. <laughs> I get like, so Lego 
Batman and Lego Avengers, Harry Potter, like all the Lego games like that. I don't mind it because you collect all the stuff and it automatically builds what you need. I don't, I don't have to sit here and build it to make it look like the finished product. That became one of my things in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom that you had no real out, no no uh, blueprint, so you didn't understand what you were building. You just built it on the whim for whatever you needed to do. And that became a bit frustrating for me and made me dislike the game immediately. I stopped playing without, I don't know, within a few days, I stopped playing that game. And then um, you have, uh, what is it? You have uh, Lego Fortnite, same thing. You're building all these things piece by piece. And I was like, okay. You sit there for hours and hours and hours and hours building, 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 building. And that's just not what I want to do. I want to play the game. I want to do the quest. I want to do all these other things. That's why I love Breath of the Wild so much more than I do Tears of the Kingdom. Or than I did Tears of the Kingdom. And Lego Fortnite is just something that I don't even do anymore. Because it's not fun for me to do that. Now, I can understand if there was like a uh, architectural type game or simulation where that was the case and that was the point of the game. You understand? Like that like to build structures. But even then, like I'm not gonna sit here and build an entire building or a bridge or whatever it is in a game piece by piece by piece by piece. I wanna have the blueprint after I collect all the materials and then once I have all the materials I can press something and it'll take either X amount of time to build and when I come back it's done. Or it builds itself immediately at that moment in time. Like one or two have to happen. So that's just my take on it. to the plants too. Nice. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to I'm trying to be more patient with the games that I'm interested in playing. But at the same time, um, I, I don't know. A lot of the games that were hyped up from last year, people don't even play. Starfield being one of them. I was really excited to play that game. And by the time I started to want to add it to my repertoire after I finished uh, Hogwarts, people we're not playing the game and today they're still not playing the game but I think uh, the company just kind of I don't know every time I see a game flop or anything that flops that's got the hype behind it and you you hear that there are people excited by it you know a good deal of people at least um, it's it's the promotion behind the game. It's the promotion behind the product, I should say, where it doesn't get promoted the way it needs to be. Case in point, the Marvels. They didn't really get to promote that movie like they wanted to because of COVID, and it sucks. It sucked that they did not get to promote it. And people are finding out now that it was actually a good movie. It was a good movie. It wasn't a must-see movie. I'm not telling people ever to go um, 
to the to that they should have went to the theater to see it. I went to the theater to see it only because I wanted to get the. Uh, it's not really a popcorn bucket. They didn't have it. It was it's a it was one of the eggs for the movie. It's been enough time. Many people have seen it. It's one of the eggs from uh, the Glurkin and from Goose. And inside is one of the kittens as a cup to drink out of. So I was like, oh, that was pretty dope. It was a pretty penny to, to buy. I did it anyway because I wanted to. Um, but stuff like that, you know, where it gets hyped up. It doesn't get promoted like it needs to be. There could be some factors out of the people's control who are part of it. And then there are factors that are within their control. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't have the right promotion, then people won't know about it or people just start going off of others' opinions. And we know that's not good, right? Because an opinion is an opinion, especially if you didn't even see the movie. One thing I got to say about, especially some of these movies coming out today, and even video games, um... No one asked for them. <laughs> ah, the lineup for movies coming out this year, Beetlejuice 2, no one asked for that. I don't need to see a continuation of a movie that happened when I was four or five years old. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I, I'm 40. I'll be 44. I do not want to see that now. I would have wanted to see it when I was like maybe... 16, 17, 18, 19, but no. Nah. Now I just don't, I don't give a damn. I'll wait till it comes out on something free to watch it. All movies eventually come to Tubi. Tubi is free. Your streaming services are ridiculous. Because they're just going to say, oh, it's exclusive to your theaters. Okay, I'm going to wait till it comes out on something. I'm not going to go to the theater to watch it. Or if somebody has a uh, wonderful movie code, which is what I typically use, and I'll get it for cheap. Stuff like that. Or people are going to start pirating again. The one thing I... <laughs> the one thing I never understood how people were pirating video games. Like, how do you do that? I never understood that. Music and movies, they make sense with MP3s and, you know, you have your CDRs or writable discs and stuff like that. But I never understood movies. I mean, not movies, uh, games. But people pirated games. And I was like, wow, must be nice. Anything to get stuff for free, right? Even books, you know. But the government took all that stuff down because all the books that were getting banned, people were getting for free digi digitally, uh, myself included. And it was legal until the government banned it because everybody was getting free books. Crazy, right? Makes you want to think. Poor dude, he's now level two. Sweet. I think I'm supposed to clear this whole lot. Action bar is full. You can scroll to action bar using okay, and use the pips to keep track of which action bar is displayed. Items in action bar outlining your inventory. Place items as you use or consume on your action bar for ready. Access. Okay. But I have two. Oh, 
enough of us to chop this down. I didn't really say. Yeah. Hmm. Do, but it's a start. So you're a plot after all. You're a plot inspect, but there should be space to drop this workable work table down. I said workable. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. Bye. Damn. Yep. Select the workbench from the action bar using the numbered hotkey. Okay. Press RT to enter placement mode. Make the final placement. Action bar selection can't be canceled by pressing. Okay. Oh, is that big? Can't be that big. Oh, I'm sitting here looking like. Can I rotate it? Yeah. Put it right here. Can I place it there? I'm confused. Why well, wouldn't place it? Yeah, I wouldn't place it there. Get it. <sighs> and please. Okay, I don't get it. Nothing blocking it from behind. You see what I'm saying? Mary Davis. Jesus. So the controller. Wouldn't let me place it, but the, I had to use my mouse. I don't. I didn't feature. I'm gonna have to get a. Mm, okay. You get a gaming mouse, I guess, because obviously this controller doesn't work for everything. Craft a wooden storage chest. Place your storage chest. Craft a tent at the workbench. Place your tent. All right. Just go. Let's 
becoming extremely annoying. So now I have to use the mouse for this and I can't use the controller. That's the dumbest thing ever. Select it. I gotta use this mouse for everything that's going to annoy the shit of me. I, I can't select it. Oh, fuck my life. Put the chest in here. That would probably be the best way, right? Outside the door. It's not letting me use most of the buttons on the controller now. It's so odd. What should I do now? Talk to Anani when he visits your plot. Oh. Are you off on an adventure? Delaya told me there was another new human town in here. Oh, I ran all the way from the farm here. Okay, those teeth though. <laughs> you had this house when you get fresh dairy. Oh, let's take back what I said. <laughs> have your mail and hand all the police around here. Every day, rain and shine, six in the morning and six at night. I guess it's the same. My job is about to get a lot more interesting. And I love getting mail. <laughs> First mail delivery ever. 
Mm, gotta head home soon. <laughs> Hiya. Ah. Mm, gotta head home soon. Oh, it's like here. Mm. Dear Q, I have been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully from the swirly mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of miss birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Inar. Okay, that's weird. Or Einar. I'd like to share with you the joy of fishing. Please take this ride into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience and shall be located at the pier for the next new next few millennia. Oh, okay. Cries our city's letters to the residents. You will find a bow and set up arrows. In your test package, she always requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use during work hours. You can find me in Kilma Village. It's not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Okay, Hassan. <laughs> I keep in improving your foraging skills. Why don't you stop by the inn later? I'll teach you how to build a sawmill that can put your supplies to use. Oh, that's the... Uh... Wait, what is this? Our little New Year wish-making tradition. Subscribe our wishes in the... Just really to look, pink for longevity and orange for prosperity. Once we have dyed our ribbons, we will hang them on our beloved wish tree and hope they will come true. Okay. Yeah, I must have what you up here. to? Catch you later, okay? Okay. Pick up any deliveries. What deliveries? Where are the deliveries? How do I get the... Oh. Did I not do that already? Jesus. What you up to? I didn't know how to pick up the deliveries. So how are you selling in this plot's huge? I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. Uh, Old copper arrowhead. Oh. She's always hanging out of rows. You should see if she finds something like this before. Her brother has me too. Uh -huh. Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs too. Bug Catching Club. That's to my dad to learn how to grow food. Works at the end. Can teach you how to cook it. A lot of quests. You come on, I was saying. Catch you mm -hmm. later, okay? Leave your house and plot, okay? With the rundown sign that I can't even fix. I gave you a lot of quests. <laughs> Yeah, cool. And this, I see how people get well. Someone, especially someone like me, who likes to do a lot of quests too. What's happening? The welcome new Palia. We started a singular in the order to create new worlds that are deep in players' lives, and we hope Palia lives up to that. I'm sure the worst I could do we found your way. Oh. Who is this? I was like, who is that? 
<laughs> I'm like, who is that? Gina. I just hope I can zoom in. Oh yeah, I'm gonna zoom in. Rep. Wait, do I have one of those too? No, I feel like I'm gonna fall and die to my death. <laughs> oh, okay. She's all the way over there. Can't let me learn how to have some type of transportation. That would have been helpful, right? Look at the deer. Or the doe, I should say. Keep pressing the wrong button. Not sure what would happen if I go in the water. Sources for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. Found it in under some old junk. Time to figure out what it does. It seems to be better once I know something. emotes. Interesting. That's the best way to go back the way that I came.
deer. That's foxes. Can run a little faster. I said, Why? Well, I'm going to finish the rest of this later. I just wanted to get a taste for what it is. I actually think it's pretty cool. Um, seems like I have to build a little more, but not as much as I thought it would be. So I'm grateful for that. And just really exploring and just having like a casual type of time. Oops, sorry. In the game, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I like casual gaming. I just wanted to see if I, this is something I'd be interested in and to continue to play. And it looks like it is. So I'm on level 2. I don't know if that's just specifically for foraging or just level 2 as a gen in general. Just a little more to learn about the game. But I'm using my Xbox controller for most of it. The challenge is not everything corresponds with the Xbox controller so I have to use a keyboard for some things I do know that um, most PC games don't allow controller compatibility which kinda super sucks not all of them and if you do then you can't use your mouse at all if you need to click off somewhere else from the game and things of that nature so it just really depends on how the setup works but I digress it's pretty cool. I see how people can continuously play and play this game, but um, there are other reasons why I'm going to stop playing right now. That's personal and nothing to do with the game. But I say check it out. It's a free game to play in PC, Paya. And uh, get your bearings within it. It's pretty awesome. Let me see. This is the way. Trying to see if this is the way. Oh. Ah, that's the way to quit. Person escape. That makes sense. Okay. All right, Kubi and Kazakins. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in on my adventure of finding a new game to stream among all my platforms and just adding to the repertoire. So, you know, Warframe, definitely. I think I'll definitely stick with Paya as well. And again, there's another game coming out called Project Mugen. And I, I don't know where I saw it. I think I saw it on Instagram or TikTok, one of the two. And I instantly came in here and was like, oh, can I download it now? And then not reading it all the way through. It doesn't come out till later this year. And it'll be a beta version. But a lot of people are anticipating the game. I definitely say go look it up check it out it's something i know i'm definitely going to play kind of like a mix of uh what is that game there's another free anime type game that uh oh, i was right there and took my tongue too that a lot of people play uh not ha not hauntail i think that's the name of that one not that one um Genshin impact kind of like that with a mix of spider-man and gta meaning you could drive around the cars you're climbing and walking around on buildings and stuff like that it's more interactive and i was like i cannot wait to play as long as it's controller friendly if not then i'm going to try to figure out how to find so i can't use a keyboard and mouse i just can't do it I, there's there is another way to use a keyboard and mouse setup um, but with the actual keyboard itself, I, it's not something I want to do. Um, so I'd rather find another way to play the game. And if I have to, then I'm really, really going to have to learn how to do that and find a different type of mouse and keyboard themselves 
that's strictly for gaming. I mean, the two I have are supposed to be for gaming, but in my mind, they're really not. That's just my preconceived notions about PC gaming in general. So anyway, but thank you for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Hey, what's up? Dane, I'm going to hit you up later. Uh, I'm about to get off here, and I'll come back on later for something else. Um, so on that note, peace out.